And secondly, uh, it, it comes to why, why now? Why buy property at a young age? Because most of us only think property when we want to sort of settle, settle down, down. Mm. and we do that at a later stage. Mm. So uh, we don't see the benefit of having property at a, a young age because we don't understand no value mm. or what it, it offers. Good evening and welcome back to the First Time Home Buyer Show. I'm your host, SD Class, and every week we speak to amazing guests. But before I get into this evening's guests, as you know, we have amazing content coming to you live every weeknight this week. We have Zamantung Guacamala on the Private Property Podcast. That's from Monday to Friday at 7 p.m. All your technicalities when it comes to property. If you want to know more about that, that's definitely the show for you. And if you're interested in farming, we have Mbali at 8 p.m. every Tuesday and Thursday night. If you're ready to speak a little bit more about agriculture, buying farms, investing in farms that's definitely the show for you and of course last but not least we have chad viveros with the home shopper show every monday and friday and they travel around johannesburg cape town durban looking at amazing townhouses mansions that's chad viveros with the home shopper show every monday and friday night at 8 p.m if you're interested in making that big investment whether it's mansions little apartments in santon or big absolute big beach houses in mshlanga rocks or Camps Bay. Well, that's definitely the show for you. And without further ado, we're sitting with the absolutely amazing Loazi this evening. We're talking about youth in property and also all the goals that he's achieved in such a short amount of time and his upbringing and things that have made him reach these goals. And of course, Loazi, good evening. How are you? Evening, SD. I'm good, good. How are you? I'm well. Thank you so much for joining us. You know, mm. we speak about youth in property and how how one of the biggest questions from a lot of viewers and, and even friends in my own circle is is it possible or why is it that there's this assumption that only the older people can invest in property? What would you say are your thoughts around that? So when it comes to the property market, I feel that it's accessible to anyone who wants to access it uh, for whatever reason. Mm. Okay. And um, it's a market, meaning there's trade involved and with trade uh, finances are involved and with property, uh, or in my experience, you need to approach the financial institutions when it comes to finances. And some of us are sort of fortunate to have um, uh, cash, right. meaning we, there needs to be a financial source yeah. in order to access the property market. Now, let's come back to the youth um, um, as to one, it, it, it's a, a huge financial commitment. Mm. Because uh, with the traditional banks, they offer uh, loans between 20 and uh, 30 years. And we're we just not ready to commit to such mm. a, 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 at, at a young stage. And secondly, uh, it, it comes to why, why now? Why buy property at a young age? Because most of us only think property when we want to sort of settle, settle down, down. Mm. and we do that at a later stage. Mm. So uh, we don't see the benefit of having property at a, a young age because we don't understand no value mm. uh, what it, it offers. And all that goes back to knowledge, meaning we, we, we as the youth, we lack the knowledge in terms of what, it, 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 what property offers, what are the benefits right. when it comes to um, uh, buying property at a, at, at a young age. Mm. So like for, for, exa for example, there are many uh, benefits when to, when, um, in terms of owning property at a young age. Coming to us as, 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 as a youth, mm. um, when it comes to property, let's say you want to buy property, um, the benefits of buying property at a young age. Mm. So the traditional banks offer 30 or, or 20 year bond finance. If you buy property, let's say 25, meaning at the age of 45, mm. you're finished right. paying for, for, for that house. Or even if it stayed at the age of, of 55, mm. you're, you're done. finished, you, you're done paying for, 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 for that property. Mm. And if you buy it at a later stage, you still have that um, bond um, you're taking that bond to your retirement mm. and if you were not saving and enough for to have money or to access cash when you uh, come retirement meaning now come with your your pension fund you need to sort of deal with mm. the with the with the bond exactly and, and the payments and, and, yeah yes pay back those repayments mm. so those are things that we sort of don't think about and it's not only about just 
buying your, your home. Mm. There are a lot of things that you can achieve through property, be it you're buying investment type of, of, of a property. Mm. And even when you, you, you own property, um, you can do other things. Let's say you want to start a business. Mm. You can refinance your, 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 your house when you've sort of finished right. it. And let's say you, you, were, you were paying more. You can sort of access the, that amount bank. They call, uh, banks call, call it an access account or mm. a flexible account. So those are the benefits of owning property, property. Though, though that I feel we as a youth don't sort of know. Mm. And it all goes back to knowledge. And I think you, you speak about, you know, having, committing to something long term. And I think that a lot of, and I speak for my own self and my own circles, is that, you know, we're trying to make money really quickly. And property is a long term goal, yes, right? Yes. And we're trying to be like, okay, so what can I buy now that mm. is quickly going to give me money or that can make me money fast? Mm. And so, again, you speak about commitment. And I forgot to mention that you're a doctor. So you had to commit to a degree for seven years. Not a lot of us can commit that long. So you already have this mindset of commitment. Mm. So when it comes to finances, and we'll get to that later about your savings plan, because you say, you've said in your bio that you've learned quite a lot about saving money. But just before we go into that, I want, I want to talk about Loazi. You you know okay. your upbringing what has made you the man that you are today you are twi i'm sitting with a 26 year old <laughs> this evening and i mean that for me we even spoke about this just before the show that like i mean i'm older than you and you've achieved you know but i know it's it's not a comparison it's not a game mm, because i mm, i mm. solely believe that we're all on our own journey i believe that we're running a different race different pace True. and that True. one day of course we also have different goals and i'm sure that you have multiple goals that you still want to reach mm. this is only a few you know and in the beginning when i introduced you i said that you've done this in a short amount of time and i saw you react in the corner of my eye <laughs> so maybe I, maybe i lied there so maybe how long did it take you for for you to achieve all these goals like amount of years or what and then I'm gonna I wanna get into what what did you have to put in to mm. get what you've got right now. Okay. So I, 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 just to make sure that I'm getting you mm -hmm. um, do you want me to talk about property? Yeah. Or property and career? Mm. Let's let's separate the two. Separate let's start two. with property. Property. How long did it take for you to achieve your goals within the property, within your property journey? Because you're building a property portfolio. Mm. You've mm. got a few properties under your belt, right? And mm. I know um, we often talk about on the show about uh, property stock files. And we of often talk about, because I know that earlier when you were talking about the youth and how the youth need to get into the market, it's not that easy if we think about it. Like you just graduate and then maybe a few months later, or even a year later, you then only become permanent. So no bank will finance you if you're mm. on contract, right? And I look at this and I'm like, but property stock fall. If we just own 25% of something or 30% of, it's so much, we can do that without getting finance, you know? Mm. Taking your salary at the end of the month, taking a 2,000 Rand and contributing it to a stock fall. Mm. So let's go back to your property journey. Mm. How long did it take for you to reach where you currently are? And then I'd like to know what is your goal, your long-term goal? Well, um, honestly speaking, I've been in the property uh, industry uh, two years. Two years. <laughs> I'm done. Uh, <laughs> I wash my hands. I'm done. <laughs> um, yeah, because I, I graduated 2018. Mm -hmm. uh, only started working 2019 uh, at Steve. Mm -hmm. um, so with us, it's... Um, a little bit different when you, if if you are if you are a medical doctor when it comes to finance, right? Because uh, um, truth is that the banks are sort of comfortable with taking that risk if you are a, a medical practitioner, yeah. and that sort of allowed one to, or that was the advantage to sort of enter the property game without having to deal with the other things mm -hmm. of having had uh, taking time to sort of build your credit score and having to sort of I, I, I don't want to say fight with the banks mm. but in that struggle they that, that they sort of uh, make other individuals sort of go through so um, your career basically saved you exactly exactly like because we look up to doctors that, and we know doctors have that, money that's that's the truth my yeah. career saved me it gave me the advantage mm. in time when it comes to the property market yeah so that's your property journey well, Okay. Uh, you, you intertwined both of them, though. You yeah. did. You spoke about career and property. I did. I did. So, um, currently, let me just lay out 
what I've done in, mm, in the past please. two years, okay? Um, I own two investment properties, mm -hmm. uh, one in Kempton Park, one in Cape Town. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was fortunate enough to buy my folks a, a, a home, mm -hmm. a place they can call home. And um, I also started a property investment company last year mm -hmm. and it's been operational for about a year with a few of my other friends, uh, Apium Jengu, Lisa and Asavela. Mm -hmm. um, and we own two properties as, as it stands. It's, it's just sectional titles and of which we own 25% share. Right. So we, on a monthly basis, so we came together and we sort of, uh, they, they, there's this guy, Gavin, mm -hmm. Gavin, uh, when I was starting my property journey. So I did a lot of reading and attending property seminars. Mm. And I met Gavin, he's a property investment strategist mm. and of which I, I, I sort of bought the two uh, investment properties oh, okay. through through the company he was working with at yeah. the time. Um, then I also wanted to do more because mm -hmm. cause, cause I, 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 I sort of made this promise to myself that I want 30 properties, not, not 30, sorry, 10 properties. I was <laughs> because no, you're very capable of getting 30 properties before you turn for 30. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so 10 <laughs> uh, at the age of 30. Okay. okay. So so we're on how many now? Because we need to hold you accountable. That's what we do on the show. Wow. So uh, <laughs> do we count the primary uh, the we primary Count all of them. Yes, it's yours. Really? Well, Let's do that. Folks. It's yours. Okay, okay so uh, three mm -hmm. under personal capacity then two uh, of which which are own 25 percent mm. then the goal is to have 30. Ah, sorry sorry ah, <laughs> why, 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 do I, why do i keep on saying it's 30? the age because uh, you want to do uh, it before yeah, you turn 30. Before I, before so I you need five 30. more basically yeah hey I, I hadn't thought about that so i need fi fi five more so i want 10 yeah. before the age the, of, of 30. 30 <laughs> ne? and um so when you approach when you approach traditional banks mm. so they use what they call um, affordability when it comes to property finance. Mm -hmm. So they the, uh, they allow one thirty percent according to the National Credit Act is thirty percent of your gross. Okay. So I was maxed out in terms of investing as an individual, mm. but the uh, the goal still stands. Mm. I, I want ten properties before that. Thirty. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I had to sort of find other means mm -hmm. and while I was reading this book and it spoke about in, in, in investing as, as as a unit or as a team mm -hmm. then I spoke to uh, friends um, who then sort of bought into the idea then we sort of needed to formulate a structure mm -hmm. then we spoke to Gavin mm -hmm. and he, he, he told us that okay you can um, start up a company right ne? and put in contribute basically like a stock fell right contribute on a monthly basis but to buy properties because mm -hmm. it, it, it then you you it's a legal entity which you can sort of approach the financial institutions when it Using, comes to financing yeah. yes and as we, we all medical doctors let me just say that and it, it, find doctor friends guys <laughs> we, we medical <laughs> doctors and in the in the bank's eye we 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 are capable exactly we are capable of less you probably like out of all the industries all the, all, the, all the careers you're not as much you're not a high risk yes we we, as we less we an less actor risk. or exactly. creative would exactly be. exactly and they they look at the buying power mm. so the buying power of us as individuals combined we can achieve a lot more 100 so it, 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 so that's why we sort of went for this approach so let's buy property mm. as a, a, as a unit mm. and a company structure because we all want to, um, so we come from different um, or disadvantaged backgrounds. Right. And we want to sort of lay a foundation to sort of build generational wealth. Mm. So it, 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 it's a concept that each of us, or each, or each four of us understand that right. um, um, one, we want to change where we come from, two, um, financial freedom, mm. generational wealth, and 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 we understand that property is a long-term investment 
and that we share that very same goal as mm. as individuals. So it was much more easier mm. then to sort of formulate a company and have the thing going. I think that's so important because that's literally a solution for the youth to get into property. Exactly, exactly. If you can't do it as an individual, find yeah. others to sort of do the, the or and invest I, in property. Exactly. And I love how you were so you know specific on the fact that you share the same values. Mm. Uh, you don't necessarily need to have the same upbringing, exactly. but your goals are now similar, are mm. very much the same. And I think that, like I said, for the youth, if we can, you know, grab a few friends, start a company, mm. try and, and I feel like it's, I feel like, yes, property is not an easy journey. Yeah. There's a lot that we still need to learn. Mm. But uh, just before this, you know, we always talk on the show about having a mentor and having people who guide you through this. And of course, the show is one way that we do guide the viewers at home. How and ideas that we give them ideas and educate them, you know, on how they can put that foot into the property market. And I like how you said earlier that because I asked you if you have a mentor. Mm. And you were like, no. And I was like, oh, so it's not that important. And you were like, no, it really is important. Mm. And um, so tell us a little bit how you educate. You said it took you two years. Mm. What did you do to, you know, give yourself this knowledge of property? What did you do to educate yourself um, around the property uh, market? So um, in my final year of uh, studying, I did a lot of reading because mm. uh, I, I knew that I wanted to enter in the property market. Um, so um, I read a lot, attended property seminars, mm. and that's basically how I gained my my knowledge. Uh, obviously, it's 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 ideal to have a mentor, but it, those people aren't readily available. Mm. People are busy, and it's a matter of who you know as well. I I, I didn't know anyone who was in the property industry because yeah. in my environment I'm not surrounded by such. But we do have books, mm. and uh, there are people that are, that are in the, the the property game, written books, right. uh, made mistakes, mm -hmm. and they they talk about their challenges, their experiences, mm. and w how you start, and the, basically a whole uh, what's this thing? Like a framework. Framework, or? yes, <laughs> framework <laughs> of how they did. Yeah. It. So you gain that through through books. So that's what I used. I used books and attended seminars. Mm. And what I love recently, we've had a few guests, um, property investors slash authors. We have so many property, South African property investors who are now writing. And I love that because it's very difficult to resonate with a property story from America. Mm. It's very difficult to resonate with someone who did not grow up the way I did, you know, mm. like, um, and now you read these books written by these South African property investors and you can resonate on a personal level. Mm. You feel like you can achieve these goals True. because someone you could, the person who wrote this book, let's say example, Gavin, a guy we had on the show recently, I could sit next to Gavin in a bus tomorrow. Mm. I can resonate with him on a level like that, you know, I can't mm. sit next to Robert Kiyosaki. True, true, true. Because, true. you know. Um, and then, uh, yes, I wanted to find out. So just before we carry on and talk more about your property journey, you spoke about, you know, growing up and your bio really moved me. And um, mm. I'd like for you to share that story with our viewers at home. Because after you share that story, I have a follow-up question, which is very, it's related to you moving around often, you know, you growing up in KZN. What was that like for you? And because I know growing up already, you had a goal, you need to buy your mother a house. Mm, mm. So what was that journey like for you? Okay, so um, I was born at Anguilla Zana Hospital, mm -hmm. 1995, okay? Just proof, he is 26, guys, proof. <laughs> Just more proof. Yeah, so my mom was unmarried and uh, unemployed and we moved around a lot. So we moved from uh, Langeza to Stenga, and it was tough. Mm. Um, so we, we stayed in this one uh, room. So when I say one room, I just mean four walls. Right. So we, 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 there was eight of us in this place. We slept, bathed, cooked, ate on that one room, mm. and um, only had one meal per day. And school was a, a, a bit far, mm. so you had to walk quite a distance to 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 go to school. And that was um, in 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 2003. Uh, so we had rented out this place, and right. my uncle was the only one working. Mm. Then the very same year, we moved again to within Stenger and mm. rented out another another 
uh, room, mm. which was now about an hour, 30 minutes away from oh, wow. school. Mm. So imagine as a kid having to walk that distance. Yeah. In 2004, we moved to Durban. It was uh, nice because mm -hmm. uh, now we had uh, a home. Right. A home. Then um, there was this, t I remember at, at Durban Claremont, um, me and my mom were walking and there was this political um, organization that was sort of handing out t-shirts. Mm. Then my mom sort of jumped mm -hmm. uh, to reach for one of the t-shirts. Um, not that she, she, she's a political person, right. no, but she just wanted something to wear. Yeah. And then when she sort of, um, um, sort of reached for the ground, she, she, she missed a step and mm. sprained her, her ankle. So as a kid, you can imagine that that's not a, a good thing to watch. Mm. Um, and, and I made a decision there and there that I, I want to buy this woman a home. Mm. I need to take care of this woman. I don't ever want to see my mom in that, in that, in that state. Mm. Then following year, unfortunately, she passed away. Mm. Then I had to move back to Langeza and stay with my dad, who was also figuring things out yeah yeah so with him i think i moved around about um four um four, four wow. times yeah, mm. four times and school was my only escape mm. yeah. then fast forward I, i'm in metric um obviously did well mm. uh, obviously <laughs> you're a doctor i mean <laughs> obviously yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. um um then I got accepted to, to, to do medicine at UKZN. Mm -hmm. um, but the, the promise still, okay, well, I made the promise to myself right. that I need to buy my, my mom a home. Mm. And yes, she was no longer around, but I still needed to sort of do that. Right. Okay. That's how this whole thing about property sort of started yeah it was a promise then a promise grew into love because mm. now with doing research on how to enter the property market i saw wow there's actually a, a lot more involved mm. than just owning a home exactly okay and um i wanted to give a, a place for my for my folks and siblings they could call home right because as you can imagine moving around a lot as a kid it's not nice you don't keep friendships it affects you academically and Mentally, socially yeah exactly yeah. exactly so i don't want that for for my siblings exactly and now i, I, I i'm i'm at ease because they have a place they can call home mm. and i have a place that i can sort of go to um uh, during the holidays right. i remember this other time i was in varsity mm -hmm. then came june holidays then my, my father was like, hey, mm -hmm. time, um, <laughs> uh, we no longer stay at that place. Mm -hmm. Ah, wow. now I, I had to sort of right. take a taxi to, to, to go to, to, yeah. to that place they were, they, were, mm -hmm. they were staying at now. So, that, that's so you that. continue to move around. Exactly. Until exactly. varsity even. Mm -hmm. I, so you say this, right? Um, I just want to quote you. You say, all of the moving I've experienced throughout my life has given me a strong sense of what I want and what I don't want in mm. property mm. and a great appreciation for stability. Mm. If anything, I think stability is so, so it's key and a roof and shelter, stability and shelter, you know. And um, so I just wanted to, oh, so you say appreciation for the stability, a home can bring you. I love that you said a home because a lot of people will be like, no, stability and, you know, a roof over my head that my house brings me. No, you mm. call this a home because mm. for such a long time, such a big part of your life, you didn't have a home, exactly. something you could call home. Yeah. So just before I ask you my million dollar question, which I ask every week on the show, before I get there, I want to ask, so because you've moved around and you've said that now you know what you want and what you don't want in property, what don't you want in property? <laughs> Well, um, basically living in one room mm. and having to do everything, the, yeah. I don't want that, that mm. experience again, okay? And um, one thing, uh, let, let me just speak about what I want. Yeah, okay? yeah. Because I don't want what I experienced uh, growing up of, of not having 
a place I call mm, home. home. Mm. I don't want having to travel long distances just to access uh, um, education. education. So amenities are a priority at this stage. Mm. So one, I need to have um, a home or a house, uh, a stable place, home, yeah. a stable home that I can always go to as an individual. But on that note of home, mm. my million dollar question is, what does home mean for Loazi? What does that mean for you, that word? I'll say I'm grateful mm. to one, have a place that I can always go to during the holidays or now since I'm working, uh, when, I'm, when I'm off, okay? Not having to inquire as in, hey, where do we where now stay? Where you guys now? Where should I come? Mm, that's one. <laughs> And um, as, a, as, a, as, a, as an individual, um, I also feel that I'm not yet at that stage to, to a place that I call home as an okay. individual. Yes, because I feel like that's a decision that one makes when you uh, settle down. Mm. So I'm not yet there okay. yet when it mm. comes to, yes, yes, I, I have a home. Yeah. Yeah, my parents' place. Of course, yes. but you don't... Mm. At this stage, no. No, yeah. no, no. I, st I still want my own place that I call my, my home. Right. Yes, yes. You, I mean, and that, that makes so much sense because, yes, you're 26. You're still mm. part of the youth. You still fit in the youth bracket, although you're doing things that, you know, we're not doing <laughs> ahead of the game. Mm. Um, but it's so important for us to acknowledge that we have not yet found home. Mm. Whether and for me, I think what's so I love this question because I don't necessarily find home in a place. I find home in people. Okay. So for me, it's very easy for me to to move from one place to the next because my home is are the people I surround myself with, and that is yeah, why. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Thanks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, on that note, you're a doctor, right? Mm. And um, doctor, and um, you help people. And I'm sure that there have been certain things. Oh, let's actually, before I even ask that question, what inspired you to study medicine? Mm. Well, <laughs> you know, when you're growing up, maybe, mm -hmm. um, most of us choose careers based on what we're exposed to. And with, uh, growing up, the only options that mm -hmm. I was exposed to were medicine, or becoming a doctor, mm -hmm. teacher, policeman, or a chartered accountant. Mm. So the, those were the only four. And for me, knowing what I wanted to do, medicine came with stability mm. and 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 secure in terms of employment. You you you, you, you guaranteed that you you'll get mm. um, a job, and it would allow me to do things that I wanted to do. And I was curious. I was always a curious individual. So uh, when I was doing grade eight, um, a learner sort of had fits. Mm -hmm. yeah? And uh, uh, you know, being, being kids, you, 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 you feel helpless. Yeah. And you have absolutely no idea as to what to do. And they were just uh, pouring water on this water. Right. And I wanted to know one, what is this? Right. Okay. And how do you stop this? Mm. Cause it, 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 it's self-aborted. Mm. Then that's how I sort of chose medicine. I was curious. One, it offered um, security in, ter yeah. in terms of employment status. Then uh, I, would, I was going to get answers as to mm. what, what, you know, what, what's that. And now I know. Mm. Mm. You that's chose right. the right career <laughs> path. Uh, no offense to anyone who didn't. Mm, mm. <laughs> but um, on that note, right, so I was saying you're a doctor, you help people, you're curious, you want stability, you want um, security. How do you plan on doing that in mm. the property market? How do you plan on taking that curiosity further in your, on, your, on your property journey? Mm. Okay, as a medical doctor. Well, I think as a medical doctor and also as a property, you're a property investor because mm. you have big plans. I don't know if you want to share that. Mm, okay, so one of the things that I hold uh, dearly or close to my heart is is establishing a hospital mm. uh, group. Okay, um, I want to build a hospital which is uh, semi-private, so partly owned by private entity, and 
um, by the community as a mm. whole. Because currently I work at Anguilezana um, Hospital, which is a tertiary uh, hospital, okay? And it functions both as a level one, two, and three. Mm -hmm. So level one caters for primary healthcare, and two, it's regional and district um, uh, services. Mm -hmm. And it caters for about 18 um, hospitals oh, wow. in the northern part of KZN. Mm -hmm. So we receive referrals from all these these uh, places, and mm -hmm. and it it's it's a lot, and at around 12 and 1 you on monday to friday mm -hmm. we get patients coming through with buses wow. imagine at 12 a.m midnight yeah just just for them to access specialist care mm. uh, to be seen by a doctor for about 15 to, mm. to 20 minutes and that person is 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 not doing well mm. and now on top of that they are sleep deprived okay um, yeah yes so i i i, I want to sort of bridge that gap, mm. especially in my community um, as Kawini. So build a, a hospital which you sort of work hand in hand right. with the tertiary institutions and also the primary mm. uh, healthcare sectors for it to incorporate some of the specialist services so that they can also down, uh, the, um, the tertiary institution can also down refer right. and we can also co-manage patients who in, in, in the primary healthcare sector and mm -hmm. have services like your emergency uh, unit, mother and child, mm. and geriatrics, and, and HIV specialist. Because mm. those are the conditions specific to the community as a whole. Mm. So that's what, or that's one of my projects that one is currently working on mm. uh, currently. And that's a big project. I mean, and you, you're very passionate about this. This mm. is something, firstly, it's a necessity in the community. Yes, yes. You're yes, passionate yes. about it. it it's and a huge gap. Exactly. There's, and a, you've huge, already, there's a huge gap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you've already started this journey? Yeah. Well, I've, I've sort of established um, uh, a, a telegram group mm. so to send out to the community. And they've been sort of reluctant. Mm. You'd be surprised I only have seven members. Oh, wow. And, and, in the, and it's a community that has about... 10,000 10, plus, mm. okay? Um, so it, it's been difficult sort of trying to get the message across because one of the things I believe as, um, so it's it, 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 it's a black community. Yeah. So um, most of us are, are reluctant to when it comes to such project and, and, and sort of uh, giving cash because my plan was, okay, let's form uh, this one, um, let's say, account, yeah, ne? and contribute on a monthly basis a, 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 an X amount, mm. so that you can build uh, the the hospital. Of course, yeah. Okay, because then if you know that uh, uh, we we have a hospital in, in in the area, then we can access certain services uh, easily. Because yeah. one, I, 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 I think nowadays we do have, let's say, DSTV. Yeah. Um, and we contribute a certain amount on a every month. Yeah. Yeah. So why not do the same? Uh, and to access one of the basic needs exactly. in, in society, and there's it's, there's a huge uh, there's a huge need for mm. for, for health. Uh, it's one of the basic needs according to Moslow's criteria of needs. Exactly. Uh, and when something hasn't sort of, or when something is not up and running, most of us don't want to sort of. Um, invest in the idea mm. however we want to jump ship when it's already existing which is something that we still need to as to a change. people a as a nation exactly which that's is something, something mm. we need to change so those have been the the challenges that i've sort of encountered in 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 in, mm. in, in, in doing this i've done up a plan sort of sent, sent it to the individuals but yeah. they're, they're not fighting spoken yeah. to to one of my uh, teachers at, at, at Kula High, I went mm -hmm. to, to, Kula Ka, to Kula High, who said, okay, they're also going to try and sort of circulate the, the message across. Right. Um, I've spoken to one of the attorneys, um, Prudent Lo, mm -hmm. who said, okay, try and fo form, uh, form a, a, a structure. Then it will also be, uh, allow one to access right. finance or approach people for, 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 for funding because yeah. it's a fact. People don't... Um, at this stage, they don't want to invest in an idea because yeah. they feel like they'll be losing. Yes. 
cash. So yeah. how can you just trust a guy that you don't know? Exactly. Yeah. So yes, yes, the 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 idea is great. Mm. Everyone see uh, that um, it's something that they want, but no one wants to sort of invest mm. in the idea. Because imagine uh, having a hospital catered for a Skawini community. One, it will create job opportunities exactly. for the for the township and also motivate motivate the youth. Yeah. Uh, so now I grew up in that very same community. Exactly. But in terms of the um, job opportunity that. I, 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 I got to learn at the time. It was just the four that I right. listed. Now, if there's health and other allied allied pro, well medical doctor and other allied professionals, mm. and now there's construction, so the, the youth gets to Literally, know about yeah. about that mm. because it's something that they see happening in exactly. front of them. And when it's already existing, now you get um, it. So yes, it is a hospital, but it's also a business. You need people to to manage this structure yeah. you need security sort of to sort of protect exactly you need cleaning services you need caterers so it also uplifts the the community exactly. as a whole because there's so many careers within just building that one exactly so, and i think that and you know you spoke about how it's so difficult for us to get people to jump on board because we don't see the idea and you're right i think we're very scared to invest in people's ideas true True. We need to invest in what is already there. Yes. And I think that that's, I think, a question to ask. Like, what can we do to make people believe that our idea is worth investing in? Mm. Well, goes back to research mm. and um, a need. Mm. So if, one, if you've identified a problem and came with a, or came up with a solution... So for anyone that sort of relate or to, to, to that, right. that, okay, there is a problem and this particular individual is coming with a solution, right. then why not invest, invest. In, mm. in, 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 the, in the idea? It goes back to that thing of resonating with people on a personal level. Yes. You know, I would definitely invest in that idea because I come from a similar background and mm. I know that there was a lack of resources in the time, so why not give back to this community, right? It may mm. not even be my community, but... Uh, so I would definitely, because I resonate with you, and I feel like it's so difficult. What's so unfounded of, of this whole situation is that the people, the way you're building the the hospital, where you'd want to, where you want to build the hospital and bridge the gap, those are people who have gone through very similar things, who have similar stories to tell them, as you know, as you do. Mm -hmm. And it's just, but I also think that we also need to be realistic that a lot of the people, if they do want to invest a thousand rand at the end of the month, mm -hmm. they're losing a thousand rand in something else like putting food on the table true true so true. understanding people's um situations true. um but i think it comes it, it's with with time and i i honestly wish you all the best so okay. just you know put me add me to the telegram group mm. let me you know add what i can when i can mm. so i think it's a beautiful idea um just before we close off because we've, we've gone a little bit over time but that's mm. fine you see this is what these conversations are like we even forget about time you uh, i want to talk about the financial aspect we already spoke about the financial people investing in your ideas whatever the case may be the financial aspect of property you said is very important again i'm going to quote you right mm. you said it's not just about property, but it's about personal finance, as well as financial literacy, budgeting, saving, and basically everything about money. Mm. My final question to you is, what was one lesson that you learned about finances that you still apply in your day-to-day -day living today? Mm. Um, in the time that uh, I've had money, mm. I found that I suck when it comes to saving. Re <laughs> really? Yeah, so that's why um, I chose property. Mm. So I, I channel most of my finances into. To, into property. And that when you do save or decide to save, attach a goal mm. to, to your savings, be it short term, uh, be it short, medium, long term, attach a goal to, mm. to what you're doing. And that's it. A goal that benefits you, not like couple goals. No, no. Don't have a savings uh, account. That's just, I'm so guilty of that. Well, so well, I well, you, 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 you can have a, sa a savings account. For, uh, Join bonds. We uh, want to buy property together. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you, you can. You can as long as 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 you can attain the goal yes. and stay true with your with mm. your partner mm. if you're doing you, couples yeah. goals. No, but I hear you. I think it's so important to have to attach a goal to every bit that you're saving, mm. and. Um, 
just you know we spoke about this recently with Gavin black tax and everything that we're going through mm. as a people and um for me i think it's so important to just even if you're just saving 100 rand a month whatever the goal is that you're saving 100 rand for mm. like you said you know let this goal manifest and actually try and reach your goal mm. um i believe that no financial goal is a stupid goal true i believe that everything that you're saving and putting away for can be used for something But, and I think what's so difficult we live in a world where it's very difficult to save Loazi mm. let's be real true, true it is so difficult mm. i mean every month i already know that i'm getting a new pair of sneakers it is so difficult because i'm like <laughs> I, so I, let me add as discipline as you look at my sneakers <laughs> discipline so, so let me add discipline mm. so be disciplined mm. okay if, if if you want to reach that particular goal then things certain things need to sort of come out right okay remove certain things yeah mm. it's a lifestyle change it's a life exactly. lifestyle shift exactly. So exactly you have shoes on so, your feet so if you if, don't need more if you own five <laughs> five uh pairs, pairs yeah then that's fine but why not have six i'm joking <laughs> i'm joking <laughs> there you had it ladies and gentlemen okay. that is luazi this evening medical doctor 26 years old we're talking about youth in property and as we heard saving can be really tricky it can be a difficult process to go through but be disciplined and have these goals luazi's journey on your property your property journey absolutely amazing and okay. again i wish you all the best because your goals you have goals within your property journey and you will achieve all of them. Thank you so much Thanks. for joining us this Thank evening. Thank you. Thank you. Go well and take care and stay warm, ladies and gentlemen.